What's up, you too? How's everybody doing? I love witnessing about um, things that I know about God, especially things that uh, they're not widely known by everybody. Um, everything's recorded in heaven. Our books written, I learned that from Kevin Zadia. <clears throat> and he really put a spur under me to uh, continue because the Holy Ghost was uh, pushing me that way. He might be very well pushing you the same. Um, this is a live prayer room right now, and I thank God for it. I pray that God will uh, move on these prayer rooms. I don't know how many is familiar with Azusa <clears throat> Revival, but they had limbs growing where people didn't have arms, legs, you know, and I'm a veteran and my heart does go out to the veterans that have lost so much. You see, I, all the commercials over where I'm at, I see them every day on the TV. Arms missing, legs missing, face missing. I mean, God, and there's been witness that God has uh, warehouses in heaven with arms, with legs, people that have been to heaven and back and witnessed. And they would ask, what is this? These are parts for people that needed them on the earth, but they were never prayed for. See, it ought not be that. <clears throat> so I, I pray for these prayer rooms to uh, become powerful places where the Spirit of God doesn't just visit, but dwells like if you read chronicles second chronicles uh, solomon's temple five six and seven when solomon stopped being uh, crazy and started uh, seeking the lord read in those three chapters second chronicles chapter five chapter six chapter seven and you'll see what the lord did and uh those are things that he's done azusa street uh, welsh revival I think they had, um, my, my mind's a little foggy on some of this, but different things, and uh, these miracles are very uh, attainable. My One of my former pastors had, uh, he was one of five preachers praying for somebody. They had a withered arm, and he actually seen it. The person had a long sleeve shirt on, and he actually seen God straighten it right out. That's because of one of those uh, ministers, or more than one, had a touch of God, had a connection with the Holy Ghost, okay? And these things are attainable, So, but it's the church mindset, you know? You have to be willing to sacrifice. If the leaders aren't going to sacrifice and lead the way, like, like an arrow point on a broadhead on an arrow, and, and go this way when I'm telling you, chances are it's going to be hard for the press for the church to do this because you have to circumvent leadership because sometimes they're stupid you know but you know but if the churches would wake up to this reality uh, there there would be especially now where God has quieted much things and many people are home these days you get your church buildings open if you're a preacher. You're going to pay the price on Judgment Day. And, you know, a lot of my videos are geared towards getting ministry that's jacked up. Getting them vertical and straight. Because they're not preaching the gospel, most of them. Okay? They, they preach the money thing. You get their, They get your money, okay? They, they know how to do that. They know how to be silver tongues, but they don't know how to be prayer warriors in the prayer room, leading, like Peter said, as examples, 1 Peter 5 comes to mind. Not lording over God's heritage. And how many, how many fools go behind pulpits and lord God's heritage? And then God removes them, maybe, or they die, or and then now they got to go to judgment with that junk on them. They were, some, they were given that authority and power to be the example. Like Peter, read it, 1 Peter 5, 3. Neither is being lords over God's heritage, but examples to the flock. Okay, They're supposed to be showing you how to connect with 
the Almighty Jesus Christ, Jehovah God. They're supposed to be showing you who he is. They're supposed to be showing you how to connect with him, how to pull down a miracle and give it. They're supposed to be doing this. But they're busy building their mansions, making money. You know, and, and I feel for them, they're going to get what they deserve. But I feel because they're going to lose out. And be, who's ever under that loses out. You have to be single-minded, focused. Jesus, he said, I set my face as a flint. That's how you have to be, preacher, fivefold minister, prophetess, prophets. I don't care what you call yourself. Do you have the fruits of this? Do you have the fruits of what you call yourself, apostle, prophet? You'll never hear me once say anything. I, I wouldn't. I'd rather be dead than call myself something. I'd rather show you what I am. So I, I, I didn't know what I was going to be talking about when I started this video. I was going to be witnessing about um, how Jehovah became our salvation, our Savior. But take this to heart, leaders. Forever, how long God lets you lead his flock, whatever way your little, I hope your little heart's uh, connected to the Holy Ghost and not your whatever. But this is the way, some of these pockets of these, uh, what the Holy Ghost wants. And I could count, there's one person right now playing the, the organ. There's nobody else there. There might be some behind the scenes, I'm sure there are. They do like shifts, one hour, two hour, whatever. They're right before this guy, I, I've been on here probably an hour or two, and there was a girl uh, doing the piano. But you feel the anointing in these places. God's happy with this. But uh, I guess my video's over. I don't know what else I could say. <sighs> Getting ministers to repent and reform. <laughs> it's, there's, there's probably, it's easier probably. Pulling teeth, I guess, the cliche. But uh, hey, you know, the right way is the right way. And uh, God's going to straighten things out. He's going to straighten things out. But I, like myself personally, I want to be ahead of the curve when God straightens things out. You know, when you read in the Old Testament how he straightened things out, usually, usually meant a lot of bad stuff's going to happen. <laughs> and me, you know, I, I don't like rolling that way. I like I like going ahead of the curve, correcting things, and then and then... Just walk it in what we're supposed to be. I don't like finding out after the fact that I was jacked, you know, or I was tricked, or I was deceived, or they ripped me off. I don't, I don't like fi finding that out later. Or I didn't know the Bible well enough to know that they were leading me errantly, deceptfully, you know, thieves, you know, different things that... Uh, we we deal with with people, and especially why is it why is it leadership or it seems always to be uh, caught with their hands in the cookie jar all the time, you know? And it's usually 10, 15, 25 years down the road, you know. But God's going to deal with all this stuff. But um, that's all I got, you know. I I don't know what else to say. I, I've got a preacher spirit on me. It's been on me for uh, days, if not longer. It's been, it just comes on me. And I don't really preach in these teaching sessions, but, uh, you know, I'm so hungry to get into a church that has 24 hour prayer where you could walk in the door, the door is open, or somebody's there that can unlock and, and let you in. And they've got music going, 
and they've got the Holy Ghost moving, that any time, if I want to do a, a two-minute prayer meeting, or if I want to stay for five and a half hours, that I can go there and have prayer. You know, but, but those are very few, very few. Very few got know what God is trying to do in these days. Very few. So that's all I got. I, I hope I help somebody. If you're not biblically born again, I've got 150 videos being biblically born again, showing you in the Bible. Because you're not going to hear the the born again message. Chances are in your church on Sunday, you will not hear it. You will not hear it out of Joel Osteen. You will not hear it out of John MacArthur. That you will not hear it out of their mouths. Robert Morris. I can go on and whoever. Doesn't matter. You will not hear the Paula White. Whoever. You will not hear it. Chances are. So, I I've created playlists so you so you don't have to guess at this stuff. And I show you biblical examples. And I don't make a, a single penny from this stuff. Okay, My motivation is to win souls, to please my Savior, my Father, Jesus Christ, and get out of here when he raptures me out of here. I want to get out of here. And I hope you want to go too. And he said, unless you're born again of the water, the Spirit, you're not going, preacher, prophet, you're going to the lake of fire. So lead all the people astray. Peter laid the message out, Acts 2.38 is the first biblical pattern of what Jesus said in John 3, that you must be born again of the water and the Spirit. Two parts, okay? After you repent, baptism in Jesus' name, the infilling of Jesus' Spirit, the gift of the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. John Baptist prophesied and told you, Jesus Christ is going to give you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. John 3, Luke 3.16. Okay, love you. God bless you. That's all.